The government of Boris Johnson canceled the visa program when Russia invaded Ukraine. It banned travel and froze the assets of 19 oligarchs. It will soon launch an anti-corruption police unit. Both political parties, Labour and Conservative, have courted Russian money, but Conservatives have gotten the lion's share, at least $4 million in political donations since 2012, including almost a million dollars from Alexander Tomerko, a former Russian arms tycoon, now a British citizen. He's not on the sanctions list. How can our allies trust this Prime Minister to clean up dirty Russian money in the UK when he won't even clean up his own political party? Uh, Mr Speaker, I, I just think it's very important for the House to understand uh, we do not raise money from uh, Russian oligarchs. Uh, people, who, people who give money to this... To this so this, they, they are, they, we raise money uh, from people who are registered to vote on the UK Register of Interest. And that is, that, is how, that is how we do it. But nothing inflamed Johnson's critics more than his 2020 appointment of media mogul Evgeny Lebedev, a dual citizen, to the House of Lords. Our trusty and well-beloved Evgeny Alexandrovich Lebedev. Despite warnings from British security services that the son of an ex-KGB agent posed a security risk, Lord Lebedev of Hampton and Siberia put on his ermine robes. Now, from his seat, he can watch other British lords race to resign from boards of Russian companies. As you may have noticed, in the last two weeks, there's been the most massive bailout of people leaving the boards of Russian companies because it's become socially, quite apart from politically, unacceptable for them to be on it. But in the past, there were plenty of such facilitators around. What made it acceptable before? I mean, there have been one incident after another that should have set up alarm bells. Well, that's certainly my view, because we were concerned about those things and about the threat, the potential threat that Russia poses to our national security. 